morning, good morning, welcome to a new day. Oh, today we're realizing a dream I've been having for five years. Selva Bagiba, Apa Kabar. Excuse me. And do you know what? We made it out before seven in the morning. Finished breakfast, everything ready to go before seven with two kids. Kids. So we just made it to Burubudur. Hanna, we have to take on the shoes. Yeah, hello, Badabi. Are you ready to see Burubudur? Yeah, well, Esther, did you sleep? So we are now buying the tickets, and luckily we have Kita, so we get local price which is super nice because it's way cheaper for Indonesian people and for people with kitas, which is very good. I think it's very nice that several countries around the world, including Indonesia, if you're local, you get a cheaper price so you can see your own masterpieces. Like in, in Peru as well, for Machu Picchu, I know that local people get local price, which is way cheaper and it's super nice. Uh, and it's fair that people from outside pay a different price. But a super bummer today, because of COVID-19, it's not allowed to walk on the temple, on the building, which, no offense, in my opinion, makes no sense at all. The museum's inside is open, but to walk outside on the temple, which you usually can do, it's not okay because of COVID. What is the difference of walking around the temple than walking on it? Like, because of COVID. No sense. Look at this beautiful tree. Wow, wow, wow. If I can give one feedback, the music and the talking in the speakers and stuff just lower it a little bit so we can just enjoy this beautiful garden and the nature I have to say it's absolutely beautiful here and here we have the temple revealing itself through the woods Beautiful, the architecture, the style, everything. Look at this. I have to be honest with you, <laughs> for me, this kind of, uh, it's still extremely cool to be here, but I was really looking forward to walking around in this place and having the view from the top. Like seriously, there's mountains everywhere surrounding and now it's starting to clear up and we could be walking around on the top having the sick view 360 degrees. And that's why you want to go here, basically. You want to walk around on this. So for me, it like, it just killed a lot of the excitement today. I've been looking forward to this for five years and I didn't know it was closed like this. But still, this is amazing. So just just whining a little bit because I would be, <laughs> I would be super exciting running around here. And now it just like got hit in the face when we arrived this morning. It's like, you're not allowed. You can only walk around. You're not allowed to walk on it was a huge bummer so it kind of yeah yeah it is what it is as i always say in bahasa itula hidup but once again no itula hidup hana huh itula hidup but now done with the whining complaining let's just enjoy this masterpiece of So we 
are finished with the tour on Borobudur. Beautiful place. The garden here, every, super nice. Yo! Meanwhile, we are heading back to Jogjakarta. You can have a little look on something that really impressed me yesterday. We are now walking the streets of Maliboro, one of the most popular streets in Jogjakarta. And this is a proper walking street. i never seen something like this in Indonesia before. This is insane! This is so nice! Like why aren't there more streets like this around in Indonesia? Like every city in Indonesia should have something like this. This creates an amazing environment. Another thing that's been impressing me with Jogjakarta, it's the cleanness. Like, it's seriously clean here. This is so different from Lombok, where I live, <laughs> where we have trash, unfortunately, everywhere. And it feels like everyone is taking their own responsibility to make it happen or to keep it clean, which is very nice. So we just finished eating lunch. Hello. Yeah. Now we're really uh, being tourists around here in Jogjakarta. I have to be honest, like Jogjakarta is really nice, like architecture wise. And they kept a lot of the old buildings from the Netherlands and then just made them nice instead of destroying them. Like in Medan, they just destroyed it because they want to ruin their history. It kind of makes sense because the history is not very nice. But here, instead of ruining everything, they've just been using it and making it their own which is very nice and now Hanna and me Hanna is it nice to bicycle around what do you think about Georgia Carter is it good is it is it hello We're coming up on the side. Lion. We will win! We will win! <laughs> Made it into Tamansari. It's uh, Sydig. It's um, like a bath place for uh, one of the sultan who used to live in Jogjakarta, who used to rule here. He made this as his bath place. This is insanely cool. I could really recommend if you're visiting Jogjakarta to take a look into this. It's just, wow, look at this. You can wonder what the Sultan was using this for. It's not only a place he would take his bath, I think. Behind me here, they are making wayang handicraft in skin. This is buffalo skin, and as you can see, this is the tools he's using to create this kind of art. Look at this beautiful. To make one of these, it takes 10 days to two weeks to make, so 10 to 14 days to make this. But look at all the details. This is super detailed. So here we can see a masterpiece that is done. Look. This is when it's painted. Again, look at all the details. Walking along! 
along the highway to find the place to do a PCR test. Because of restrictions in Indonesia right now, we have the kids under 12 years of age, which is not vaccinated, have to get the PCR test and for us adults is antigen. So now we have to get that and uh, the result will come out in 24 hours. So we're actually 24 hours late because the plan was to leave tomorrow morning to Jakarta or something. We're going to talk to the people here if we can get result in 12 hours. And if we can, we're flying or taking a train tomorrow. If not, we have to stay another night in Jakarta. So we decided to go for the express PCR, which is three hours. It's a little bit more expensive. Oh, it's more expensive. Uh, but then we can move tomorrow. And I think we will after all oh, eat the brown. After the kids are in bed, we will plan the continuing of the trip. But then we have the option to travel tomorrow.